In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create this text shift animation in HitFilm Express. So let's create a new composition. I'm gonna create a new composition by going to File New, and from the template, I'll choose 1080p Full HD at 60 frames per second, and then click on Start Compositing. So we are in the composite shot timeline. Uh, so let's create a background for our animation. You can use any background, you can even use a video or an image, but for this I'll just use a plain solid uh, background, I'm going to name it BG and uh, change the color to uh, indigo or somewhat like that. Okay, now let's create a new text layer, I'm going to set the width to 600 and height to 200 and then click on OK. So I'm going to type in, uh, you can type in anything you want. So Let's type in uh, code and uh, the text that I'll use is code light for this. It's around 130 is fine. So I'll create a new text layer and this time I'll like the height to be 600 as well. And then I'm going to click on OK. Select the text tool and uh, type in the text. So I'm going to type in the first text that I'm going to type in is code uh, smarter. Hit the enter key on your keyboard to go to the next line. And uh, the second text that I'll type is better. And the third line I'll type is faster. And uh, hit control on your keyboard to select this text. And uh, I'm going to choose the font to code bold. Now let's just place this text on the right of our other text. I'm just gonna place it, position it properly. Okay, that is looking fine. Now what you can do is let me just select both of these layers and I'll just move it to the left. I'll just try to center it. So yeah, I think there it is looking fine. Now the next step is to create a new math layer. So I'm going to create a new plane. I'm going to name it uh, mask or mat. We can name it whatever you want. And I'm going to change the color to red and click on OK. So let's go to the controls tab and uh, let's decrease the opacity of this layer so that you can see the text. I'm going to drag this below the this text right here. I'm going to put some gap in between the text and this shape that we just created, this plane that we just created. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom out and I'll just duplicate this layer and move it to the top. So make sure that there is equal padding between the text from the top and the bottom. All right, now, now what you can do is start animating your text. So to do that, let me just first start renaming my layers. So I'm going to rename this mask bottom. I'm going to rename this to mask top. Uh, I think this one will be our text wheel. And uh, let's just rename this to text code. Okay, now go to the text reveal layer. With the transform and uh, the position, let's let's animate that. So I'm gonna create a keyframe at the first frame of our video. I'm gonna move this to the bottom. Uh, this text to the bottom, just like that. And then I'm gonna move to one second uh, forward. And you can check the time right here. I'm gonna increase the or move the text uh, the and put it in the middle like that okay now I'll just move to the two second duration and uh, click on this icon this icon right here to toggle the keyframe so it will create a keyframe with the same uh, properties as the previous keyframe now let's 
move to the three second duration and uh, lift this text and now also you can zoom in and see that if it's aligned properly again move to the four second duration and again click on this icon to create a keyframe now let's move to the five second mark and uh, move the positioning of the text it's like that and uh, again now let's move to the six second duration uh, click on this icon to create the keyframe move again to the seven second duration and let's make our text disappear from that scene okay now let's see what we have created so far so I'm going to set this to 50% and uh, line it properly and uh, this is what we have created so far okay that is looking cool now go to the effects tab and search for set matte and drag this on top of your text reveal layer on the left side you have the set matte and uh, you can then set the source layer to uh, mask bottom or let's do with let's start with mask bottom and uh, set the matte source to alpha blend to subtract now again repeat the process drag the set matte layer only effect on top of your text reveal layer and you'll have your second set matte effect set this time set the source layer to mask top and uh, set the blend to subtract and now you can toggle off the visibility of both these mask layers and also enable this motion blur right here you can click on this these two icons if you want to now let's play our animation and this is how it looks so far expand your text reveal layer and uh, highlight all of these keyframes and then click on this icon to convert these selected keyframes to manual bezier now click on value graph and let's zoom in and see what we have so these are the keyframes so I'm gonna select the last one and I'm gonna drag this in like this I'm gonna select this one I'll leave this one as it is I'm gonna select the I'm going to select these keyframes in alternate manner. I'm going to play this once more. And this is how our animation looks. So I think that concludes this tutorial. If this video was helpful, please do leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.